I'm cleaning this cast iron grill. It is in some rough, rough shape. So cast iron, leave it out, lets it rust. I got a woody paddle here, which just happens to be burned down for my grill. So it fits perfectly in here. So all I'm gonna do here is scrape out as much of this thick stuff as I can. And you see it really, really scraping in there. Just kind of going left to right with it. Just going up and down. So this will be the first part. I'm just gonna break off all of this thick stuff and then I'm gonna take it inside and show you how to season this back to life. All right, so I got most of the thick stuff actually off of here. So for the next part, I'm actually gonna soak it in some Dawn. I'll just fill this up with water, put Dawn in there and let it break it down. You can actually see this is two sided, so I gotta get both sides clean. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, but I'm gonna start with the other side. All right, so I've been letting this sit now for about a half hour. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna dump this out and just, I'm gonna start scrubbing away at it. Uh, and that's the only way to get these clean is just scrub them over and over. So I got a really messy rag and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little elbow grease into it. So that part gets a lot of the heavy stuff off and you can see this rust is kind of in there and it's going to always going to keep coming off until we really get it seasoned and hot. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now, same process, I'm going to soak it and I'm going to scrub it. This side should be a little easier considering it's flat. So that's the next part of the process here. Use a lot of Dawn, a lot of it. Let it spread out in there. Go all the way up to the top. Just let it work its magic. Dawn is great for degreasing. Uh, rust is not grease, but it's gonna help break down at least the top layer. All right, this has also been sitting for a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain this water off. Let's see, well, you can't really see, but that water itself is dirty. So. I got a little tool here. I usually, uh, honestly, um, tin foil works really good, but you need some kind of surface that's going to be abrasive on this. It'll scrape. So I'm just going to use this to scrape it up and down and just try to get any heavy or excess junk off of there. I'm going to do that whole thing, and then I'm going to take my rag and scrub it down again. So if you're looking right now, you can see, it still looks like this is rusty, but this is actually smooth. And so the rust actually completely discolors this cast iron. It doesn't mean there isn't rust there, there will be. But what I'm gonna do now is go throw this on the grill and get this super hot, this surface and the other one, and just burn everything off of it. So I got my grill on high. I'm actually gonna put this side down because this side still has a lot of like old grease on it too. So 
this side up, this side down. Now, when you come back to pull this off, remember, this is going to be extremely hot. I got uh, all my burners on, and I have a sear station in the middle, so I got that on, too. I'm going to close this up and let it burn. Okay, so my grill has been on here. You can see it's up over 700 degrees, mainly because I got a lot of grease in here, uh, and it's burning that off, too. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. This next part, I recommend being very careful. So you see grease burning in the back, but that's actually good. I got some water. I'm going to just dump this on there. Remember, water turns to steam instantly. So you want to stand back. I'm just going to pour this on top here just to let it steam on there. Um, you can see that the rust has almost looks like it's burned off, but it, you can still see the spots. Over time, that's going to cook right out of there. Um, but I'm just going to pour this on top and let it like really steam it out there. Go ahead and close that up again. Now, I'm going to wait, let that part completely uh, disintegrate all that water, and then I'm going to flip the pan over using a hot towel there so I don't burn my hand, and then I'm going to do the same process with the water and pour that on top, and I'm going to show you what it looks like after, and then we're going to be ready to use oil. And for that, I'm just using regular old vegetable Crisco oil. Um, I usually season with olive oil after I get going, but for this cleaning part where I'm just kind of seasoning it for the first time, She's the cheapest oil I can find. All right. So you can see this is the process after all that. That still has discolor, but if I were to touch that, I'd burn my finger. Um, but you can see that it's pretty clean. Now I know you might not think that looks clean. I know the video definitely doesn't do it justice. Um, but the next step for me is to go ahead, put my oil on now. You're gonna wanna make sure you're using paper towels. Do not use a wet rag. Uh, steam transfers through water. It'll burn your hand, heat transfers through water. So I'm just gonna put this on all the way through. And just let that go in and soak in. I'm gonna do the top hair as well. And if you think you're using too much, um, chances are you're not. Your paper towels are gonna absorb a lot of it. But I just like to let that soak, make sure it goes in all the corners there, it's all moving. I'm gonna take my paper towels and I'm just gonna start rubbing it. Now, these paper towels are also gonna get hot, so if you have a glove or something you can wear, I would recommend doing that. Use something for your fire pit or anything like that. That is good. It's gonna tear apart paper towel a little bit, but that's okay. Because we're gonna re-burn it off again after this process with that oil on there. Just kind of heat it in, get that oil in all the pores. So there's that look. Looks dark already. Paper towels. Oh, wreck. I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. This side's a lot easier because it's a smooth side. So after I do something like this, whenever I clean, I usually do a really greasy food. You guessed it, bacon. It'll be the first thing I cook on here. Um, put a lot of flavor back on it, but I could cook it hot and then just scrape it. So you would treat this like your regular cast iron. Um, like I said, from here, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna make sure I burn off the other side because I got all that paper towel there. Uh, and then I might redo the oil a little bit. Now you might be asking, why didn't I put salt on? Uh, I don't do salt when I'm doing it like this because I'm actually going to be putting this in our camper and I don't want it to get salt everywhere. Um, so I will use salt and season it the next time around uh, after I do my first cook on it. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down. So here's a look at the final product there. Now you can still see some of the rust, but I'm telling you that's going to be there for a long time. Uh, the other cast iron that I've done years ago still has the markings there, but there's no rust there. Um, we cooked a ton of mills on them, so 
that's just part of the problem with rust is it, it's going to make your discolored cast iron happen there so this is how to clean a cast iron griddle uh, if you like what you see here we do a lot of reviews on our camping channel here for anything camper so we're gonna be doing a lot of cooking videos on these type of things uh, so if you really like what you see make sure you hit that subscribe button we want to thank you for watching we'll see you next time